Hey, I'm Leanne. I started Vote, the first all-vegan fashion brand. Before I started my own label, I was really good at reading labels. Because fashion's like food. You want to know what it's made of. Besides the obvious fur and leather, other ones to avoid are wool, silk, and down. And then some tricky ones like angora, shearling, and cashmere. Cashmere? <laughs> yeah, cashmere. But don't worry, we've got a lot of better options. We'll go into my shop and I'll show you a few. There's Molly and Jenny, hey. Hi. So first, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things, shoes. When you're looking at shoes, you wanna look in three different spots. The bottom, the tongue, and inside. If it's all man-made materials, including the upper and the sole, then you're good to go. If it has any of these symbols on here, you want to look for all the symbols to say textiles or other materials, which you might want to Google after or call the company to find out exactly what those other materials are. But if it has leather, coated leather, it's not cruelty free, unfortunately. But don't worry, there are tons of options. As far as leather alternatives for bags, here's a micro suede made of synthetics by Hipsters for Sisters and this belt from Bava, which is made of all man-made materials instead of leather as well. And what about clothes? I started Boat to make the perfect winter dress coat. I'm from Chicago, we have terribly cold winters, and I really wanted to have an option that meant I didn't have to wear wool or down to be warm. This is our dress coat actually made from plant-based fibers like cotton on the shell and then insulated with Primaloft Eco, a synthetic that keeps Arctic explorers and astronauts warm. As far as like a leather motorcycle jacket goes, this one is made of waxed canvas. There are other options for leather jacket alternatives. If you just look at the label, it should say synthetic or man-made. Or sometimes it just says faux leather. Down, which most people don't realize, is actually a really cool process. It has a lot of alternatives too. We really focused again on doing the Primal Loft Eco, so it's super warm, but there are a lot of options. If you're going shopping, just look for something that says synthetic. And make sure it's synthetic fill, not just synthetic on the outside. And lastly, sweaters. I've always loved really big, comfy sweaters but sweaters are usually made from wool or made from cashmere or angora, which is actually rabbit fur. The ones we started making are made from recycled fibers, recycled cotton from the fashion industry, so that they're also eco-conscious and sustainable. But it's easy to find sweaters that are vegan. Just look for acrylic or polyester or cotton. Um, you can thrift them, which is one of my favorite things, and also keeps your wardrobe really affordable. In addition, we worked on hats. These are made from recycled plastic bottles because um, I really love the look of wool felt hats and I wanted to see if we could make an option that was also cruelty free. And then you can also look for acrylic or cotton hats. So, so many options that are cruelty free. There's really no reason to wear animals. Thanks for visiting my shop and thanks for caring as much about animals as I do. I'm sorry. I totally make clothes. Don't worry, I know how to zip things. It's okay. <laughs> Some people on the street. Hey people. Hello. What's up? As far as we'll take free. <laughs> we'll go into my shop and I'll show you a few. Oh, we're almost there. Wait, we passed it.